guys, what's going on? Jordan here. And today, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me. I have the mic plugged in, pointed at me. I'm getting dropped. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which pretty much all of you are, you'll know what two of these boxes are. So, here we have the stage two clutch. Here is the the disc, and I'm going to take these off because I can't see it all. Yeah, we got the clutch disc. We got the pressure plate, nice and pretty. And we got bearings. And then right here, Money shot. Money shot. We got the lightweight flywheel, which still weighs like 25 pounds. It's probably 20. I don't know. It's not very light. But it is pretty. So there was kind of a change of plans. I talked to this guy that tunes BMWs and he said to take a motor out of an E36. It's the same thing, still the 2.5 liter inline six, except it has it comes with forged internals and I can get one for like 500 bucks. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I decided not to cheap out and get the stock one. I just really didn't wanna make any compromises and end up regretting it later on. Even though I did change my mind and decide to not turbo the motor that's in the car right now, I'd still rather just play it safe and get the stage two in case I ever did, because it's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. So, yeah. And as much as I would like to put this in myself, I don't have a lift or the resources or the tools to do so. So I'm gonna pay the $500 and have the shop do it. It really sucks because I have to do a lot with $500, but I just simply don't have the tools or a lift or any of it, which kind of sucks because I am all about doing everything myself and pretty much everything on the car so far to this point I've had shops do, like my exhaust and the clutch, but I mean, I really couldn't put, I put this off way longer than I should have and it really sucks because I I haven't really had anything to film because I haven't been able to like really buy anything for the car because I've been saving up for this clutch and for the labor. So it's nice. I finally have it. I have a appointment scheduled tomorrow morning. So let's get to opening this box now. This one I'm really excited for. got what looks like the back three cylinders. And then the front three. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so let me start over. These are hundred dollar stainless eBay headers. Um, the quality, I mean, they're really fogged up because they've been sitting out in the cold. But, I'll show you this one. I don't know how well you can see the welds. They're not the greatest welds, but honestly, for $100, this is actually pretty good quality. I'll get you some, I'll show you it in the light in a minute. But, 
For a hundred bucks, honestly, this isn't even bad. Well, it's gonna sit like this. But either way, like I don't, you, I don't know. I don't know. Some of you guys might be BMW guys um, that have worked on them yourself. Maybe have one. The headers that come on this car are absolutely terrible. Like. Like I'll I'll have them save the headers tomorrow, and sh so I can show you just how bad they are. This is going to open up the exhaust and the engine. It's gonna let it breathe so much better. That's my old doggo kicking around the paper, but it's honestly got such terrible like air. Like I don't know, like the it it's terrible. I'll show you, and then it's got the big cat zombie. Full cows, full straight pipe, full headers, everything. And the car is just absolutely gonna scream. And it should shoot flames now. Ah! I had to do it. But, I don't know. Um, as much as I would like to spend a whole day goofing around, putting these in, messing up, taking them out, putting them back in, it's actually a pretty big job. You have to undo the engine mount on the passenger side and jack up the motor a little to get it in. And it's the whole thing, like I could probably do it, but I'm already going in to get my clutch put in, so I'm gonna have to take all that stuff out around there anyway. So I might as well have them toss these in too. So yeah, not really sure uh, what else to say. Pretty much it. Oh, got the gaskets. Um, I'll take you in the kitchen and I'll show you a little better. dropping my car off and we give him my keys and then I'm gonna go home and go back to sleep got the clutch in the clutch is in and then the manifolds are up there but they're not in yet and then there's my bell housing so like towards me These are bloopers, my guy. Dude, I'm fucking cold. I have to pee, and it's making me have to pee more. We got my energy What if it's room. like royal? No, over there. filmed about a month ago so I'm not really sure how to end this video um, the shop they fucked me they fucked me dude so the stage 2 clutches in I'll do like a, a video on that like I said the headers are in um, the stock headers manifolds that come in the car I'll show you right now over my voice I don't understand, like, this is terrible. There is, like, no airflow. That's literally, like, a wall. Like, it's, it was terrible. My car was straight piped, and then I got the, the new headers manifolds in, and it was insane.
Like, I literally didn't even like driving my car. Like, it, it ruined people's day. Like, it was so loud. And that audio clip you heard before this, y like, video does not come close to, like, how insanely loud that is. <laughs> I do have a, a Magna Flow muffler in now, and um, basically, like, when it was, like, straight piped, it sounded good, but, like, it was like I had VTAC, because at, like, 2200 RPMs, it would just get insanely loud, like, just out of nowhere. It was weird. Um, I might be able to demonstrate that with the car now, but basically, when I got this Magna Flow muffler, all I wanted... I wanted it to be quieter in the lower RPMs, so when I'm just driving around normal, it isn't going to ruin anyone's day. It's not going to be too loud. I mean, it's a BMW, so the sound deadening is pretty good already. Um, I didn't want it to be annoying. I just wanted it to be quiet and smooth in the low RPMs. But then when I f like get on it, I want it to like be as loud as it was straight piped at the end of the rev range, at the high end. And I just wanted it to pop and burble and backfire a ton. I've had the muffler for about two weeks now. Nah, it's been like a week and a half. Um, and at first it was super quiet. But, oh, and another thing that I wanted, I wanted it, so I wanted it to be a little bit quieter in the low RPM so it's more like dailyable. I want it to be as loud as it was straight piped in the high end and I wanted it to have a just overall better tone like a more refined better sounding tone exhaust note and it it honestly after this week it's it's all those now um it's still a little it's it's still a little a little more than a little bit louder than I would have liked but when once the turbo's in it'll quiet down a little bit or the dump will like even it out so then it won't be as louder now now when I floor it it's just as loud as it was straight piped or a little less but like in a good way and it has better note and it pops and burbles it even like snaps and backfires even better than it did when it was straight piped um, I think that's about it all I wanted to talk about so I'm gonna end the video here um, don't forget to leave a like sub comment whatever you gotta do um thanks it means a lot and remember bros keep moving further